Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We finally have some confirmation about how Team of the Season is going to be working on this game. We have some leaks about Team of the Season warm-up series starting this Friday. And what I want to do is look through what Team of the Season warm-up series is, what kind of content it could bring to this game, and also how it's going to impact the market and what effect is it going to have on player prices as we go towards this weekend and maybe getting closer towards the actual start of team of the season. We have to talk about that and a surprising day of content yesterday with that big campaign player pick that we opened a bunch of yesterday. We posted a video. I'll post that right up here. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go and check that out. It's a WSBC for the price, but of course the cheap SBCs don't always have the best pack weight, but this one has a pretty good potential of being something good still, I think. So we'll talk about that and everything else going on in this game for today on Thursday in this video. If you're excited for it, if it helps you out at all, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Let's go, first of all, back to yesterday like we normally do and take a look at the SBC that was dropped. Really quiet day yesterday apart from the campaign player pick that was dropped. And the price of it is also super interesting in the way that EA did it. The 87 plus mixed campaign player pick, it is an 87 squad and a team of the week. So it's not cheap per se, but when it's coming in at 160, 170,000 coins, it's not that tough to do, especially just because it's one squad. A one of four player pick between foot birthday, fantasy foot, fantasy foot heroes, and um, road to the final players, a one of four, man. I think that's what a lot of people are really excited about with this player pick is that it's one of four. It's pretty craftable and pretty cheap. And it's pretty attainable. You know, fodder is pretty attainable right now in this game. Through all the cut modes, all the objectives, you can get those 83 doubles, 84 fives, all of those types of packs that you can hit a couple of walkouts from, throw into this, put in one high rated card, and boom, you've got a nice 87 squad and you've got this player pick. Again, you got full birthday players like Vinny. You got uh, road to the final players like Alaba or Anthony Martial. They're still very expensive and high in price. Fantasy foot heroes like Ginola, um, Captavia, who we packed for somebody yesterday. So there's really a lot of potential with this but again what do we know a lot of times the cheap upgrade SBCs oftentimes have the worst luck and yeah it is a player pick and there are a lot of players in here that a lot of people would probably not want to get right I got DeMarcos that was mine so plenty of L's but also potential for some really big W's this SBC comes back on Friday you can kind of see in the game as we were just looking at it it's going to refresh on Friday alongside of the hero player pick and that's what I want to talk about SBC fodder today because that is going to be a very big point on the market in the coming days now firstly how did fodder get affected yesterday by this SBC 86s 87s and 88s are up the most percentage wise 87s I mean this was really really a surprise getting this SBC yesterday you can tell there was not a lot of investing beforehand they were 19,000 coins they went all the way to 26 to 27k for these cards they're back down a little bit now to 24,000 coins 88s were like 26 25k and they almost went to about 30 ruben Diaz for now is 30k so big rises on that middle tier fodder the rest of the fodder market 83s are still 1000 coins 84s are 3.7 85s are you know 9.4 they're up a little bit not that much but of course that is of course needed with that 84 times 7 it's refreshing every day and the campaign player pick. I'm sure a lot of people were buying some of those yesterday as well. So we'll take a look at fodder a little bit later in the video, but let's first go to team of the season hype and kind of the premise of this video and kind of looking forward what we learn about what's going to be happening on this game today, tomorrow, and into this next couple of days. Started off yesterday with Foot Sheriff confirming team of the season warm-up series is coming this weekend, right? That's a leak. Again, he's right just about 99% of the time. So we're going to take this that it is accurate. We don't have a loading screen yet. We have no confirmation from EA. Could we see a loading screen today? Yeah, we've been looking for loading screens the past two days and we haven't seen anything. So maybe we'll see one today. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But we think now that it is starting on Friday um, as a part of like kind of the warm up promo, right? This happened earlier on this year with the World Cup. Right before the World Cup, we had World Cup warm up series before that. And that started on a Friday. So that could be starting tomorrow. Probably we'll find more information out today. But some other leaks that we had yesterday that are very interesting. FIFA All Mania also tweeted about warm up. He said it starts this week. It's going to include objectives like a warm up 
cup. So we just had the foot birthday cup, which was sweaty and difficult. We have this Titans cup, which is like the most difficult cup mode I've played the entire freaking year. It's awful. It sucks, honestly. But we're doing it for the objectives and the packs, right? But we're getting another one, a warm-up cup, which I also don't know how he knows there's a leak for that. Like, how does somebody leak a cup mode objective when, like, we never get objectives leaked before? I don't know if he is assuming there's going to be a cup or if he's actually, like, you know, confirming that. And it is. So we'll see. Just kind of keep your eyes out for that. But it's all about objectives and SBCs. Daily login stuff is really cool, too. Uh, but it's all built around packs, right? What do we know about these warm up series promos? Whether it's the World Cup one or the Team of the Year one, or we look back to last year where we had a TOTS warm up promo as well. It was all about doing packs, upgrade packs, objective packs that we would save for the upcoming team of the season releases. There's league specific packs, like he talks about here 81 11 for the SBCs from the top five leagues, right? Because they released the team of the season by league. And there's also a lot of other upgrade packs that are going to come out as well. If we take a look back at last year and some of the SBCs that we had, La Liga 81 times 11 and 83 times 5. Remember these E-Figs packs? I don't know if we've had any of these added to the code yet. So maybe this is something where we need to watch out for like foot scoreboard to tweet or some stuff later coming about packs added to the code. I don't know if we've seen any E-Figs packs drop in the game this year. Maybe we did during like team of the season or, or team of the year or earlier on during the World Cup promo. But they're basically packs that can give you players from all the top five leagues. Uh, and they're great to open during like community team of the season, or if you save them all the way until ultimate tots, they can give you a chance of packing a lot of different tots cards uh, from those. But you look through here, right? Premier League 81 times 11, an 80 plus times two repeatable e figs upgrade pack, La Liga Challenge, Bundesliga Challenge. These are all SBCs that were a part of the tots warm up promo last year, right? Uh, League One 75 times 15 upgrade, an 85 five. Um, you know, I think there was a couple other 85 plus SBCs before you get into all the team of the season SBCs that you see here, right? Like an 80 plus times two E figs, the 86 double, you know, a lot of this stuff last year was packs that you would get and you would save. They didn't do, that's right. The 75 times 15 was the league one replacement for the 81 times 11. I remember a lot of people saving that for league one tots last year, but that's the whole premise of this promo. Once again, is that you get these packs, you hold on to them and wait for the tots to be released in game so that you open the packs then now if it's going to be an SBC based promo the question is obviously going to be there it is is there going to be anything in packs will EA do some sort of best of will they release cards in packs and to be completely honest with you guys I don't think that they will because if you think about it if this promo for EA is entirely supposed to be for us to get excited for team of the season to save our packs and to be looking forward to team of the season they really wouldn't want to put cards in packs to make us like open those but then again at the same time EA not having cards in packs means probably people aren't opening many FIBA points and uh, then they would potentially lose out on some money I'm just kind of thinking from it from their angle or their point of view so that's just kind of something to consider as well that um, there's there could be a best of. There also might not be a best of. Now, one of the leaks that we looked at yesterday actually makes me think it's leaning towards a little bit of a best of kind of situation, or it could also explain a, a reward from the warm up cup. But remember, in yesterday's video, we took a look at these leaked objective players that were going to be re released in objectives Al Sharawi, Jordi Alba, Subas Light, and Willick, right? You, you see it here in the tweet and in the name of what this is. It's a re release. So if they're re releasing cards and objectives, could they also be re-releasing -re cards into packs? Definitely a potential, but this to me seems like it might be rewards for what he is mentioning here in this warm-up cup or any of the other objectives that might be coming out. So watch out for that right there. Now, also we talked talks about Air Divisi Tots, which is nice to know that Air Divisi Tots is going to be released at the same time as the community team of the season on the 28th of April, right? We're assuming that Air Divisi Tots and community would be dropped on the same date since the community voting was first. And it just makes sense because this was the same voting and same uh, kind of structure that they used last year in the previous FIFAs. We had Air Divisi and community Tots at the same time. And guys, just to kind of give you an insight on what some of these cards could look like from these other leagues, um, not in the top five. Remember, we had Anthony, Gakpo, Gravenberch, Holler, Kochu, Sinistera. Now, I know a lot of these guys, of course, are no longer in the um, 
Eredivisie, but Mazraoui, this Timber card, look at these stats, man. This is what Team of the Season is about. This Gravenberch card was 1.5 million coins the first weekend uh, as the Eredivisie and the Community Tots were dropped in packs on a Friday on the same day. That may not stay the same during the whole duration of Team of the Season. We'll be talking about those technicalities later on, but the Friday of the 28th will be a really big day because we should get Community and Air Divisi, and there's always really hype cards in these kind of lower league tots as well. Just to kind of take you a little, a little trip down memory lane to last year. I remember making so many coins on Kokchu and Windall on Saturday after they were first released because these guys get so supplied, but their stats are so amazing, and people just want to try out the brand new card. So that's something that's that's kind of floating around there. Um, speaking of leaks, we do have some more leaks for content right here and right now. Uh, actually, we'll put those off for a second. Let's finish talking about tots warm up series now tots warm-up series right today maybe a loading screen and maybe we get some more news from ea maybe they tweet about it maybe we don't get too much but what is loading screen or what would a tots warm-up series really do to the market personally i do i've seen before this year twice already every time they drop a warm-up series it creates panic and it creates more panic selling but what makes this time different from the earlier times in the year where we've had a warm-up series promo we have already had tons of panic and i know it was the same thing could be said about some of the um team of the year panic that we had a while back do i believe that a tots loading screen for a warm-up series would create panic i think it would create some panic but prices man have already dropped off a lot on some cards um i do believe that some will go lower but some cards like maybe some of these center backs that have kind of gotten really low and maybe even started to rebound back a little bit some of those cards may not drop down as low especially if they've bounced back up like desai is 560 he was 518 but he was under 500k after the Benucci sbc was dropped um so if you combine the upcoming content that we still have a lot of coin drain that is upcoming and the fact that there is a you know a warm-up series coming with people getting focused on team of the season which ea really haven't promoted that much inside of fifa yet i do think there could be a good amount of panic at some point this weekend maybe it's next week but for right now at least today on thursday the market is still doing pretty good right i have a lot of cards in coin flips right now with yesterday's content we did see the market drop off a bit some out of packs cards were low i bought a same maximum at like 307 you guys saw it on stream i bought a varan at 318 he's back up to like 350 or 360 um i bought actually four i bought five goretzkas yesterday that's kind of different from the market scenarios but i bought five goretzkas at 510 and below he's back up to 570 after he is no longer live and uh Bayern are kind of you know of course removed from the competition but that was a good trade from yesterday the market still feels semi-healthy I do believe there's more panic upcoming uh, but I just don't know if that panic is going to take place like today or tomorrow or if it's going to be during the weekend or if it's going to be like next week when we actually get like a tots loading screen and we get really close to the actual promo of team of the season that is left to be kind of discovered and we'll be waiting to see how that kind of goes i would still continue to be careful like i'm being a little risky right now having all those cards i'm trying to flip i'm going to keep it pretty pretty careful i'm not going to buy too many more cards today take some sales where i can take them and uh not be too risky with it i would wait to buy teams still until we see if there's any more panic or see what happens content wise in the next couple of days and the last thing i want to talk about is we've been stressing it over and over and over because it's such a big point if this is going to be a promo all about sbcs and, and, and objectives to save up the packs for it's all about the fodder, especially for the SBCs. You look at those ones that we just looked up, 81 times 11. I think these were like 83 rated squads or maybe a couple 84s that were needed. I can't see the requirements on some of these since they're from a long time ago. 85 times 5 E-Figs upgrade. There's no way that was that cheap, right? At least this SBC back in uh, FIFA 22. So fodder is still of the essence. Now it's up, right? Let's be honest. 83 is 1,000 coins. They're up, right? These guys were 850 earlier. 84s were 3,000 coins. They're now 3.7, 3.8. 85s are 9K. Today with marquee matchups as a part of Thursday content today might be a really good scenario and a really good time to pick up some fodder on the market if you have not yet, which I have not done it too much of it yet. These prices, guys, could go a lot higher. 85s have been realistically 
really low for the past like month on this game since the end of March you know th these guys were like 13k or 10,000 coins every single week until the end of March and they've been below 10,000 coins since with only a couple fluctuations up and down I think we're going to see a time here where 85s can get back up to the 12 13,000 coin range if EA drops some requirements for 85s in these packs 84s as well I think are a great buy if you can get them at about three and a half K because I do believe there'll be a time and place in this next upcoming week where they could go to 6,000 coins again so if you haven't club stocked any fodder I know the prices are up look for today with rivals rewards that'll bring a little bit of tradable supply and then marquee matchups people are still going to do marquee matchups and open the packs today because because we've got the titans that are in packs and of course you have a chance at packing icons and heroes right now with these guys being in packs i definitely think people will be opening packs today and it could bring some supply that could be a good time to get on some bids to get on some snipes and club stock some of this fodder as we're definitely going to need a lot of it next week with the warm-up series so that's kind of the biggest thing once again um and we'll see how much panic there is today if there's a loading screen if there's nothing then we'll just keep trading in this market because like i said the market's been pretty good and you can see i've got about um i would say two-thirds of my coins invested in stuff right now this hakimi i bought at 239 he fluctuated back up to 270 cherokee i bought at 236 um and then a lot of sales that i'm waiting to sell here um tamori's i got at like 218 uh, Malassia I got a 239 Martinelli at 320 so it's not like the market's going crazy high but you know the market still feels pretty healthy and there are some good fluctuations in there now this is the Gretzka right I got a bunch at 500 uh, and I got one crazy snipe here at 300k I don't know how I got this I actually was not winning snipes on the console when I saw that um I think it was after the first goal that Holland scored. Yes, the Holland scored the goal to go 1-0 up for City. And this Goretzka started getting mass listed. I was sniping him at 500. Then I started losing all the snipes at 500. So I went on the web app and all of a sudden there was one that popped up for 301 and I got it. So that was a crazy snipe. One of my better ones this year for sure. Um, I'm kind of waiting on Goretzka. I'm being a little risky because I would love to see his card price um rise back up to about 600k which i think is very possible because he's rare he has so such good stats at this stage of the game he's really in just kind of a league of his own as a midfielder and I, the only thing i don't like is you know byron links are not bundesliga links are not that insane at the moment um i'm not thinking we're going to get too many byron players or bundesliga players at all in the community tots either so i'm not going to hold this for a long time but i'll take this advantage to take some profit there probably not going to hold on to that card for too long speaking of some other road to the finals though what do we talk about man we always talk about selling into the hype take a look at some of these guys enter they're through right they're through they're going to the next round Barella is getting upgraded. He dropped after the game. He's going back up now. Barella was 300. Wow, he's flying actually right now. He's 340. He's back to 340. But guys, this is why we always say, even if the team is favored, sell before the game. Barella yesterday was 370 before the before the match. He was 350 during the match. Afterwards, drops off to 315. People always sell post match. He was down as low as 300,000 coins, and now he's right back up. GG's if you bought him at 300k. Same thing with Calvin Phillips. He was like 370, 360. We were saying in the stream yesterday to sell right around here. He dropped all the way down to 300k. And he's now back up a little bit to about 320. Yes, these guys will get upgrades probably later this week. We got more games today for Thursday, right? We have guys like Atal that are going to have games today. So watch out for those cards. But selling in the hype is always the play, especially if they're favored to win. If it's not a come from behind victory, their prices already are considering uh, that win and the upgrade potential there. So watch out for those games today and watch out for those price movements. Now, what else today? We already talked about marquee matchups with the supply. It's probably going to hit uh, the market with watching the fodder prices during then could be a really good time to get in there's another SBC that we might have today and I didn't talk about it in yesterday's video but I think it's actually it's very possible that we'll see it today it is a player of the month for Openda yes and this might be a really really juicy player of the month guys because his 87 rated inform which is his best card right now in this game is maxed out pace if i could find the card i'm just gonna not search with the price here and see if i can see it there it is this is openda 99 pace he's got really high physical dribbling and shooting stats he's five foot nine high low and uh, if they were to give him like a plus two or a plus three and maybe upgrade him to four four i don't think he's gonna get a tots card um because he's not that high on like the league standing for goals on the year 
if they make this card cheap, if they make this card juiced, this might be one of the better super subs um, on this game throughout the whole entire year. Like this could be a really, really big cheap beast SBC. Um, if that drops today, it is confirmed he has won the award, the UNFP, which is the Twitter account that we always look to, the French Twitter account that runs the voting has posted that he is the winner. And Thursdays are usually days after the voting is announced and the winner is announced that we see those SBCs. So Mbappe's SBC is still available. I think that means Openda can still be dropped because the Mbappe one was still kind of like delayed from when the player of the month got behind a while back. So I think it's very, very possible to see that SBC today on the game. Other than that, it's probably going to be a pretty quiet Thursday, right? Play Thursdays are pretty quiet, but there should be decent gameplay demand still for players that are trying to get their qualifying matches in. I got to play foot champs qualies because again, there's still an objective that is out right now to get um, extra rewards for playing foot champs. So like for myself, I got to play again this weekend. I got to get nine wins to get that 85 times five, 85, three, and the 84 times five. It's worth it to go for, right? For those extra fodder packs, those are some, that's basically 10, um, 13, 84 plus players with, uh, eight of those being 85 plus players. So that's worth it. In my opinion, to, to play champs for on top of the regular rewards that we will be getting and, uh, check the rewards today on, uh, foot champs, because this should technically be the last week of rewards with team of the week cards inside. Um, as we had a new team of the week yesterday, which is very abysmal besides the Griezmann card with the pink hair, which is nice. Um, but this should be the last weekend league where we have team of the week cards as rewards. And after this should be moving to team of the season cards. So that's a lot of the info that we still have to learn about tots. There's still a lot to learn, a lot to see how EA are going to structure things and how they are going to do things. But we are very excited because tots just got this closer with the confirmation of the warm up series and the hype is just going to keep building. So we're going to cover it all here as it unfolds every single day per usual. But if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. We'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.